Okay, welcome back to the DocOva channel. In this video, we are going to look at text editors. Let's go. Um, text editors um, are used in applications to provide comments or discussions or you might have documents like policies and procedures that have a lot of text where you have to put in bullets and maybe tables, maybe images and stuff like that. Uh, you can look at something like uh, Microsoft Word as um, a very complex uh, text editor in a way. Um, what you do is you save your text as a file in that case. But in Docova, uh, we have uh, text editors that you can use for different purposes, and that's what we're going to look at. And you know, you don't need necessarily need something like a word processor like Microsoft Word um, in order to create documents that have these in it. Or you might have forms, you know, like an expense form where you put in your expense uh, and, you know, attach a, a photo of your receipt or something. And then a little comment where it, which you would uh, use a rich text field to put in your little comment like uh, this was, you know, lunch with so-and-so uh, for this, uh, for such and such, that kind of thing, right? Um, and so uh, DocOva has three different types of editors uh, for different reasons, and uh, we'll just go through those. All right, so as always, we're going to start by opening up the Element Demos application. I'm going to open up Form Elements because this is an element that you put on a form. And we're going to scroll down to these three right here. So we're going to quickly touch on these three elements. One is plain text, one is the Docova editor, and one is a rich text editor. So the difference is a plain text editor uh, is basically a text area for the techies out there. Um, it really has very little functionality. Uh, it's just an area where you can type in um, a paragraph or a sentence of text. It's pretty rudimentary. It, the, the good thing is it's lean and mean, so if you just need a, like a quick comment or something like that on a form, then it, it's a good, uh, an op a good option to use. Um, the Docova editor is, oh, I'll get back to the Docova editor in a second, the rich text editor, is something where you can put tables in, you can put links in and, and images in, and a uh, whole bunch of stuff. It's the most robust rich text editor uh, chunk so that you can you know, change fonts and colors and uh, font size and things like that. And it really has the most options. Um, the thing about the rich text editor is it comes with a little bit of overhead, which typically isn't an issue with computers these days. Um, unless you have many. So I've seen applications where you could have, you know, um, 20 rich text fields where, where people are filling out different sections of a form. And, uh, and then the overhead of it can, can you know, make the form uh, load time be a little bit slower, you know, like a few seconds, five seconds or something. Not really a big deal, but to facilitate that, we've created a Docova editor, and it's kind of in between the plain text and the rich text, where it has most of the options that you would typically need um, to do text uh, that's useful, and leaves out some of the more sort of obscure functionalities that a rich text editor can have. All right, so let's just have a quick look at each of these plain text uh, Docova editor and rich text uh, editors. Okay, so first with a plain text, um, I'm just going to create a plain text form here. And you'll see that um, you can resize this, this uh, field in, um, in Firefox, I think, and in Chrome as well. And so really, you, you just type away here. And one thing to take note of in our implementation is that sometimes you have to hit, uh, I think, Control-Shift-Enter or Shift-Enter in order to get uh, a carriage return. But in all of ours, you don't. You just hit enter as if you were in like Microsoft Word, for example. Okay, so this is just plain text that you type in here. Um, and let me see if we can actually just bolt. Yeah, you can't. Right. So it's just plain text, plain Jane. You just type it in um, and that's it. And like I say, it's good for little comments on, on small um, or her small comments on uh, different types of forms that you might have. Um, where, where it's sort of like, oh yeah, just add a comment here, just a note, or you know, it might be an invoice with a little note to memo field at the bottom type of thing that you type in. So um, the thing about plain text is that it's just a little bit of text, it's nothing fancy, but it's lean and mean. Okay, the Docova editor 
is somewhere between you know the full functionality of the rich text editor uh, yet not so I'm gonna go in here in this and you can read the blurb on it here but here you can see the the buttons above which we are about to change actually as of me making this uh, video we're we're about to come out uh, in version 6.5 with a you know with a more contemporary looking um, toolbar here um, but suffice it to say, you know, you get the bold, italicized, underlying strike through, you know, left, center, right justification, you know, cut, paste, copy, um, the ability to change color of text, uh, the size of your font. So you get to select the font type and the font size that you would have um, and that sort of thing, right? You can put some links in, you can indent, you can have bullets. So it's that kind of thing. Again, as you type and hit enter, you know, I don't have to hit uh, the, the control shift enter to get a new line. I, I just have to hit enter. So again, it's very much like, uh, so let's do bullets here, for example. So if I go to this line here and say bullets, then I have um, my bullet list that I can put in and stuff like that. If I am going to open up here and I'm going to copy just this image that I have and I'm going to do is let's just let's just go in somewhere and paste it by hitting paste and here it is here so when I go ahead and I'm just gonna say uh, Z Z Z Z Z and save this just so you can see what it looks like in read mode so that was edit mode you can see I have the editing buttons so that I can do bullets and I can paste uh, an image in and stuff like this but in read mode you can see it's more seamless in that it's a, a document that you can scroll down. So it's ideal for, we do all of our documentation in this. Um, so we have our documentation applications in Docova. We distribute them through the Docova App Store. And uh, we just put all of our um, tables and everything that we need is just put right directly into documents. And so we don't um, create Word documents or PDFs and then attach them. Although we're going to go over that and how to handle file attachments in Docova, uh, suffice it to say that the Docova Rich Text Editor uh, can handle a lot, <clears throat> and and the most um, typically the sort of uh, most used things. Okay, now the Rich Text Editor. If I create a uh, Rich Text, you can see here that the button bar has more options on it, so it's a little bit more extensive. Again, as you type and hit enter. Um, so same type of things as the Docov editor, except uh, there, there's more options here uh, for superscripts and stuff like that. So a little bit more advanced. And you know, since this button bar is um, a little bit more involved, and there's a little bit more involved in this rich text editor, you know, um, it, it's not as lean and mean as the Docov editor. But again, like I say, depends on you know what you're using in your application. Um, uh, and uh, you know, uh, depending on what you do, you can choose um, either one of these um, to suit your application. Okay, so let's go into the Element Demos application in the App Builder. And uh, instead of going to um, each of those forms uh, in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new form. I'm not going to save it, but what we're going to do is we're just going to drag and drop those editors onto the form so we can look at the properties for a second. Okay, so first one here is, so I'm going to click on this tab on the right hand side here and I'm going to go down to these three elements. See it's plain text, docova editor, and rich text. Just like we have in the menu in the Element Demos app. And so as I drag and drop the plain text over here, it drops this text area in here for me. and Typically, um, you can see a couple of the properties here, allow text and views. So you can have, you know, blobular kind of text on your documents in views, not just singular values. So you can have sort of paragraphs um, shown in your views and, and we'll go, uh, we'll be going in view, into views and what they're capable of in more detail. Just uh, suffice it to say here that, um, you know, to allow text and views here. This just does some performance things in the background for it. Um, is it required? So if you have to fill it out or not. And uh, there's enable mentioning. And there's, uh, if you do enable mentioning, you have to set a mentioning field. 
uh, and a restricted names. I'll talk about that in next. But that's how easy it is. So, for example, if you're just going to just say, you know, you have a form here and you say, oh, comment. And then you just drag and drop the field in here and save it. And then you'll have a comment field on your form. It's easy as that. Okay, so let me have, uh, now I'm going to say, oh, description. Description. And I'm going to make this a little bit longer. Again, this section. And I'm going to drag and drop uh, a Docova editor in here. Right? And so, in this case, they look the same because this is what you see is what you mean, not what you see is what you get. Um, and they all are depicted the same in the designer. Simple depiction here. You can change the field of it for programmatic uh, reasons, whatever. But again, you have is required. Enable converting it, um, embedded images to, uh, to actual system files. So what this means is that you can paste um, images like you saw me do uh, into the Docova editor. And when you save it, um, that can be saved like as a base64 um, sort of saved as text kind of in the record in the database. Um, but you can also um, have the system extracted out. It's kind of a techie thing. You don't have to typically worry about it. But if you said this, you know, um, there might be reasons why uh, you want to save out um, a pasted image as uh, a separate file uh, on the database, right? Um, or in the whole uh, system in the back end. But for, typically for citizen developers, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. But for the more seasoned developers, just, you know, suffice to say that, um, again, stressing uh, the power of Docova and the amount of uh, flexibility it provides you to really develop uh, sophisticated applications. Um, okay, I'm going to talk a little bit more about mentioning in this particular case. So mentioning is the ability to sort of say, at John Ryan, right? So you can type in the at sign and then start typing a person's name. And it knows to automatically look up to your address book to, and we'll demonstrate that, to look up your address book um, and provide a list of names as it searches as you're typing it. And what that's good for is that uh, when you save the document, um, Docova can notify the person that you mentioned and say, hey, you were mentioned on this document for some reason. So that's good in discussion databases or if you have um, commenting uh, capabilities on documents in your applications where you want people to comment on, you know, marketing or graphics or something. And so you could say, hey, at John Ryan, you know, what do you think of this, um, this image that I'm going to use on the website and, and save that document. And then I'll get notified in my mail and I can go to that document and see what you're talking about. And I can comment back and say, hey, you know, John Doe, that looks really great. And then it'll notify him. So we have that kind of notification stuff built in that you can leverage. And um, by, defa by default, it looks at your, um, your directory. Um, your directory or address directory is the list of people's names in your company. Uh, you typically, or we typically use it for authentication to get into Docova and so on. But you can restrict it down, and that's what the mentioning field name is, is that you can shrink that down to just the people who have access to this application or to a field on this form, which might be a group of people or just a listing of people. So that when you're at mentioning, you're only getting their list of names. You're not getting absolutely everybody's name um, or having to search everybody's name. If you're from a corporation that has a big directory of 16,000 names, then it can take a little bit longer to search the name that you happen to be typing in any given application at any given time, right? So it's an opportunity to make it uh, a more targeted for the application for what you're doing. Um, okay, just all I want to say about uh, at mentioning, and then uh, the last one here, description, um, and then I'm going to type down here, um, like uh, something like, um, or we'll drag and drop the other uh, rich text editor. So let me let me just let me just make space in here. And here's Rich Text Editor, so I drag and drop it. And so again, it looks like the other two. Um, this particular one, you have more editor setting options, like to hide the menu or have the menu scroll with you. Um, the status bar on the menu, so you'll notice at the bottom of the Rich Text, that Rich Text Editor, there's a, there's a status bar as well. So there's a few more options 
um, with the rich text editor in terms of you know just how it looks when you're interacting with it on a form. Okay, let's go and uh, just see quickly how the at mention works um, in the Docova editor here. Uh, so I'll go into my ZZZ that we did before and I'll just edit this document now. So now I can go in here and I could go, oh, you know, I, I don't want to keep this image anymore. I want to put a different image in or I want to take out these bullets or whatever. Now I can edit it, right? Just like as if it was like a Word document. And uh, in here though, I'm going to put in the at sign and I'm going to start typing my name, for example. So John, and you'll see here that it pulled up suggestions for me. Now, the reason why it brings up two John Ryans in this particular case is because for me on this instance of Docova, um, I actually have two profiles. One is in the internal directory here uh, in the Docova directory because Docova has its own internal contained directory that you can use for your company um, or you can use um, for external people, for example. Um, like uh, suppliers and stuff like that and um, or your other directory so my other name here right, right here is actually referencing our Azure Active Directory um, directory so that's on Microsoft 365 and Azure up on Microsoft's cloud and um, we've tied it in with our directory there and so as I type at John Ryan it's showing me both right so doesn't really uh, really matter. So when, when you type that in and that pops up, so let me do it again, and I pick one, so I'm gonna pick my Active Directory one, then it, it shows you know, John Ryan in blue here so that you know that somebody's been mentioned in here. And if I save this, it'll send me a message uh, letting me know. Now, you can programmatically um, manipulate what the at mention does. Um, so it's not necessarily about sending an email. It could be about sending something into another application or whatever. So you have a lot of flexibility around there, but that's uh, the subject matter of a different video. Okay, so that's it for now for plain text, Docova editor and rich text editors that you can put into your apps. They're very useful for details, descriptions, you know, sort of the word processor of a form. That's it for now in this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe hit that like button, ask any questions, put any comments below, and we'll try to get to them. All right, thanks for coming along on this video. We'll see you in the next one.